Hey, welcome back. We are live at Fantastic Worlds Comics in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're doing the new releases. Yesterday we dropped the video for the DC new releases, and this video is going to be Marvel and all the rest. We're going to combine it all into one. So Marvel and then Image, IDW, Dark Horse, etc. So it's going to be kind of a big one, so let's get started. Right off the bat, it is Avengers 1 million BC. This is by Jason Aaron. This is the main cover. If you have been reading Jason Aaron's Avengers, which is almost at issue number 60, the very beginning of the run, they showed the, the Avengers from 1 billion BC. So they were introduced. So now we're finally culminating that storyline and apparently this is going to be Thor, the Th God of Thunder's new origin story. So let's see what Jason Aaron has in store for us there. We got a Scotty Young variant. And I believe that is a connecting variant. So that's Avengers 1 million BC. A big, uh, big spin-off for Jason Aaron's Avengers run. And speaking of the Avengers, we got Avengers, X-Men Eternals, Axe, A-X-E, Death to Mutants. Here is issue number one. So this is one of the A-X-E spinoffs that's starting. There you go. A-X-E right there. Number one, Death to Mutants. Then we got Captain Marvel, number 40. There is the A cover. And there is a Predator variant. There you go, Captain Marvel and Predator. Then we have, this is kind of a big one, Daredevil, number two of the new Chip Zdarsky run, but also Legacy issue number 650. There's the cover. They made it extra thick, giant size, on a glossy paper stock. And that variant is by Bill Sienkiewicz, and it is a Predator variant. So this one is really cool. This is a big book for the week. Then we have Edge of Spider-Verse, number two. There it is. And that has a variant. And this is an incentive design variant right there. UK Spider. Up next, still doing... Actually, the finale, because there we go, finale, Banner of War. So it is Hulk number eight, Donny Cates. This is the mashup of Donny Cates' Hulk and Donny Cates' Thor run. So this is a big issue for that. Hulk number eight. That has a She-Hulk variant, just in time for She-Hulk tomorrow. And another gorgeous variant with Hulk and the Mighty Thor. Then we have Iron Cat number three. There is the A cover. And there is the B cover. And then we have every week, we've had the last couple weeks, we've had a Miss Marvel and team up. We had like a Miss Marvel and Wolverine. We had a Miss Marvel and I believe it was Miles Morales. Now it's Miss Marvel and Moon Knight. So there they are. This is a one shot. And that is the variant. So two popular Disney Plus characters teaming up. And of course, a Peach Momoko variant. Then we have New Mutants, number 28. And there it is. Then we have the all-new, all-different Savage Avengers. This is issue number four. And it's got Deathlock crawling out of Miles Morales's grave. What is going on here? You'll have to read it to find out. And then we have Star Wars, number 26. There we go, Path to Victory. This is just the regular Star Wars line. But then we have Star Wars, The Mandalorian, number two. Number one was a huge, huge hit. Here is issue number two. That has a concept art variant. And I believe this is by Kamun Kohli. So there we go. A little Grogu action. Mandalorian number two. Up next we have Strange number five. This is the new 
Doctor Strange series. And someone is back from the dead. Then we have Ultraman Mystery of the Ultra Seven. This is a Marvel comic featuring Ultraman. There we go. Then we have, and this is an AXC Avengers X Men Eternals Axe Judgment Day tie in issue. So it is X Force number 30 with the Return of Deadpool. And that is cover A. And another AXC Judgment Day tie in is X Men number 13. And there's the A cover. And this has a Predator variant. There he is. This is, I believe, the art by James Stokoe. Then we have a Russell Dodderman trading card variant featuring Iceman. And we have the Incentive variant, which is a design of Firestar. We call these the design variants. There we go. Oh, and one more. Another Firestar. And that is X-Men number 13. And we're not done with X-Men yet, because we have X-Men Green, number one. And there is the team, part of the X-Men Unlimited series, X-Men Green, number one. Still with the X-Men, House of 92. So we got some 90s X-Men action, and this is issue number four. And then for the final Marvel comic of the week... It is the Fortnite Marvel Crossover Zero War, issue number three, all polybagged. It has the Fortnite code in it. We had a Peach Momoko variant for that. This is a 1 in 25 incentive variant. And we have a 1 in 50 incentive variant. Check it out. Rogue and Gambit. And this is, again, polybagged with the code inside. So these are the new Marvel comics for the week. Let's move on to the other publishers from Image Comics. We've got a new number one, 20th Century Men. This one looks kind of cool. It's like a sci-fi fantasy mashup with Apocalypse Now vibe. Looks good. From Blood Moon Comics, we have the Nine Circles, issue number two. With a kind of cool retro pulp novel cover from Dynamite. And for all you Army of Darkness fans, we got Army of Darkness versus the Reanimator. Necronomicon Rising, issue number two. There it is. There's Ash with the famous shotgun, chainsaw hand. Good stuff. This is from Vault Comics. And from the popular series Barbaric, it is Barbaric Axe to Grind, number one. Back to Image Comics, we got Bloodstained Teeth, number five. There we go. Then we have, this is from Aftershock Comics, The Brother of All Men, number one. I'm sorry, number two. We sold out of number one. Here is issue number two. Very cool art on the cover. From Image, the crossover. This is a crossover one-shot, and it's a 3D special. And look at that. You get the 3D glasses, all poly-bagged. Back cover is in 3D. So there we go. 3D crossover, 3D one-shot special. From Scott Snyder. This is an IDW original, brand new thing IDW is doing, original comics. And this is issue number two of Dark Space's Wildfire by Scott Snyder. And sticking with Image, we got Do a Powerbomb, number three. Then from Boom, Boom Studios, it is Dune, Waters of Canley, issue number four. There is the A cover. There is the B cover. We've got some sandworm action there. And here is the One Per Store Virgin cover. I think I know who's claiming that one. From Heavy Metal, 
is a new heavy metal comic. Entropy, number one, first issue. There we go. Back to image, Robert Kirkman, Firepower, and this is, we are at issue number 23. Then from Dynamite, this week's Red Sonia comic, and it is Immortal Red Sonia, issue number five. And then from Behemoth Comics, we got a new issue number one, and this one is called Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's got some swords and magic and fantasy. Very nice cover art. This one's kind of a wrap around ish cover so there you go kingdom come deliverance number one and then we have knights of the fifth dimension this is issue number two this one is penciled by walt flanagan from the show comic book man if you're familiar with that i know he's got a lot of fans this is from blue juice comics issues number two. First issue was really cool had a lot of uh Homage to Jack Kirby, so I wonder what they got in store for issue number two. Then from Chaos Dynamite Comics, issue number one of Lady Hell. And there is the Perio cover. And this is, this is the D cover. Look at that. Got an FOC exclusive and then the blood red blank authentics this was also an foc exclusive and it came in pretty much near perfect condition very nice from image comics and we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the last shadow hawk by philip tan and that has an a cover and they did a very special B cover featuring all the covers. So it's kind of hard to see with the glare. There we go. So the B cover has all the covers. So this is the last Shadowhawk anniversary edition. Back to Dynamite. We've got Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids taking you right back to the 80s. Issue number two. Issue number one was real popular. And that has an A cover. It has a B cover featuring some of your favorite characters. We have the trading card variant. Look at that. Pretty gross. We love it. And it has an incentive variant. Black and white. There we go. An AWA Upshot. New Think. Issue number three. I guess with a holographic Marilyn Monroe very interesting from Dark Horse Comics we have and this is Cullen Bunn we have Parasomnia number one so this is like volume two number one they're continuing the Parasomnia series here we go this one's called the Dreaming God from a Blaze Comics Promethe 1313 issue number two some wild science fiction and this is from Image, Seven Sons, Part 3. We're almost at the end here, folks. Also from Image, Silver Coin, the Horror Anthology Series. This week is Threshold by Johnny Christmas. And that is an A cover and a B cover. And then switching from Horror right to Sonic the Hedgehog. 2022 annual a cover b cover and we got my pick of the week star trek the mirror war issue number eight and this has the picard cover if you haven't been reading this series you should check it out b cover with riker mirror riker it's all mirror universe saga stuff then back to image scott snyder we have Undiscovered Country, issue number 20. 
from Stan Sakai. We have Usagi Yojimbo, number 30. And then finally, get to the end here, Walking Dead Deluxe, issue number 45. And I got one more. It just didn't fit in the slots earlier. But here we go. This is from Aftershock and Garth Ennis, and it is Jimmy's Little Bastards. They are back. This is a full-size prestige format comic, and it's a story that only Garth Ennis could deliver. Jimmy's Little Bastards, number one. So there we go, kids. All the new comics for Wednesday, August 17th, after I've done all the pulls and pre-orders and special orders whatever's left is hitting the racks at 11 a.m so we will see you then